beauties morning to you so i bought the sunday gleaner to read and trust me i am hopping skipping and jumping inside you may not see it now but i am so elated so it the headline for the gleaner is no dance allowed and you have different school administrators um and they had mentioned one in particular you know as you read as you read the beginning of it from the Jonathan Grant's high school. Um, I think the man's name is Mr. Ankle. He said he will not allow it in his school and he's n he doesn't, he will take the backlash. Sir, I salute you. I wish them say one hand can clap. Let me clap me, my hand right here. So they say one hand can clap, but I'm clapping with my one hand for you, sir. I am with you on that. I am, and it has nothing to do with um, being very traditionalist and archaic, dinosaur-like. Sometimes tradition is good. Sometimes the dinosaurs are needed. Sometimes the archaic is important. I have no issue with it. And you made a fundamental point because I made a video about this dunce bag, you know. Um, I'm, if it, imagine a number of students, over 40% of students are have declined in their performance. They're not doing well in their CSEC and the lower grade. And you mean to tell me you walk into school with pride and joy with a big dunce back, um, backpack on your back? You know what I found disturbing beauty is when I read the thing about the vendors seeing a decline in the purchasing of the bags that they were retailing for $11,520,000? I... <laughs> I almost passed out. I thought it was a joke. I had to reread it. I had to fix it. I had to be fixated on that spot. I had to keep my eyes on the, the cost or the prices of the bags. Do you mean to tell me that they were really selling these bags at $20,000 with a big word dunce on it? When a number of people are dunce for real? And it is a pet peeve and an annoyance. To many, many of us Jamaicans who have to face it sometimes, very often, invariably, 20, 11, that bag should not cost beyond 200 Jamaican dollars. And, and, I'm being, and I'm being nice when I say that. I don't care if it is made out of the living alligator skin. I couldn't care less if they cr them scrape off the tiger skin or, or whatever and make that bag. 11000 and 20000 dollars? That bag should not pass 200 Jamaican dollars. It irritates me to see it. And when I see the caption of, a stu of students walking into school, I'm not sure. They, they had captured, the media had captured some students walking. And you see them proudly walking with the big dunce bags on their, back, on their backs. My God. I, no. I, honestly, I'm not sure what emotion to emit. I feel like doing everything. In, I feel like getting angry, crying, laughing at the same time. Like I'm literally feeling all emotions all at once, if that is even possible. Because I don't even know where to swing it. If I'm... Are you guys kidding me? Are you guys kidding me? $11,000 and $20,000? Mr. Uncle et al., meaning and others. I salute you. If they want to um, quarrel and grumble and complain, so be it. You said you have notified the parents and nothing is wrong with that. Don't let them steal all the power from you. Not all principles are dangerous and terrible and all of that. They're given certain powers to govern and to rule and to hold to certain principles. And we can't just take that away from them like that. Jamaica would turn into what? Let me tell you, man. Are you... <laughs> Lord of his mercy. What's really going on in Jamaica? How is it? But for, you know what bothers me? And I said it in a previous video. How is it that it was allowed in the system by the powers that be? Because they must have seen it all around. And our children, you remember when they're young and they're impressionable in us, I can't blame them too much. Because you're not, there's a saying that Jamaicans will say, young bud no no hurricane. And it is so true. My mother said when I was very, very, I was a little, 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 little pickini when Gilbert came. Very, 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 very young. And I'm hopping and skipping when the poor lady house looked like it all fit take off.
it's not the house, but what the window or whatever it was, the way how the breeze was so heavy. Right? Had to batten down. I mean, they're hopping, skipping, jumping, not understanding that this thing can kill people. This thing can kill people. So these students are not cognizant of the ramifications. I guess when they're older, they will. They will say, my God, I can't believe someone really used to do this. And I really put a big dunce bag on my back. Let me tell you something, because some of you don't do the history. Back in the day, you know, what they will do when the children were dunce or, you know, very dull, not comprehending their critical thinking skills was little or non-existent. They probably would, one of the ways of punishment was to embarrass a child and put them somewhere to the front on a stool with a big dunce cap in the cone shape on their heads and students would laugh. I'm glad that they wiped that out because I don't think that's a way to, um, to reform somebody. It's an embarrassment to have such a bag. It is not something... You see, if the fad was just a fad in, in a sort of... How do I put it? On the periphery, meaning it was just a fad. But the reality it is echoing the don'ts mind and the don'ts status of many students, unfortunately. And I'm not saying this to belittle anybody. I'm saying it because it is a reality. So if they were just doing it, but they were doing very well in school, their critical thinking, think their critical thinking skills was at at least at a base rate where you can say, you know what, he's maybe at fifty percent. I'm going to take him to sixty, then seventy, then eighty, then ninety, and so on, in terms of critical thinking, in terms of emotional intelligence, not just intelligence quotient. It is like a simpleton person. It is not something to be to be lauded. You may think so, young people, but it is not. It looks ridiculous. It breaks somebody. It, it makes you want somebody want to weep as though somebody young has died. That is how I look at it. As though somebody young with full potential has died. Like I would just want to cry tears of pain and hurt. I am... I'm saluting the principals. Don't be doubted by the backlash. That's how people are. They don't like to be held accountable. That is the mentality of the people because you know what has happened? The powers that be over, the overarching powers that be do not hold people in general accountable. And that is why they feel good. Send them home. You have the right to do that. At, you know, we were hitting the teachers in fairly recent times when they were talking about sending home the students for the... um. The modifications of the out the school wear we call it their school uniform like they would make the pants tight the pencil foot pants and it's just tight and looks inappropriate for school and they were getting a lot of backlash and some people say you know people were never expected you know they said leave this leave them alone you don't need to send them home let me tell you you might say um that is long time in a sense but not you know and i like me come from the traditionalist era from Einstein days. Still have a fairly little youthish thing inside of me. You would do something them sending right to your yard. Boy, I made it glad because sometimes you, 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 you won't go from school because I'm take school. You feel like when you go to school, you were going to the military. You know, that's how it felt. I mean, I don't know what it is like, but I, I'm only going by what people would have said to me, what it was like going to the military. I remember watching G.I. Jane. It felt that way. So any little break you could have get. So if I'm saying, oh, boy, you're glad, so be it. They, you have to expect them, the, the teachers to have some level of autonomy in some things. Not the teachers, only the administrators. They can't feel like everything that, every power that they have is taken from them. And if they have a prop, I am supporting them. Do not promulgate dunce. You're going into an institution that is trying to take you from the dunce mentality to a bright one. It looks disgusting see the bags like that. It, I can't start, I can't even believe that people really pay twenty thousand dollars when they are dones instead of paying twenty thousand dollars to put a little brilliance in their mind by getting some books or enrolling in a phonics class. And you pay twenty thousand eleven to twenty thousand dollars for dones bags. I don't want somebody just double up them fists and just I just got a poke in the eyes. Just get two poke in the eyes, parents. Just poke on another eyes. God no, me don't know if it's a, I can't even believe it. 
school i'm saluting you school administrators good job good job guys follow me on tiktok subscribe to my youtube channel please share 